Hey folks, uh, going to do a little demo today of this, and this is the uh, H30 by uh, Ace Beam. I've been out camping twice with this uh, over the last week, so I'm going to drop in a little bit of footage from camping trips, and uh, we'll just run through specs and stuff, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. So as I say, this is the Ace Beam H30, and uh, they boast that this is the brightest LED headlamp on the market that's powered by a single 21700 battery. I've got small head torches and I've got a couple of big head torches and this is somewhere in, in the middle. It's not as big and cumbersome as some um, but it's not like my little tiny lightweight ones but I think it's a very good kind of winter head torch. The battery is an absolute beast and uh, the maximum runtime on this is 200 hours which is just massive. Obviously it doesn't run for 200 hours on uh, on its full power setting, but on the medium setting of this it, it runs for 23 hours. And uh, to be honest, medium is about as bright as I want it in the woods. Uh, last camping trip I mostly had it on low and, uh, and that was fine. It's a good spill of light that you get. Uh, this weighs 80 grams plus the battery. Uh, comes with a five year warranty. It's got a 171 meter throw. Now that's not massive, but what I found using this was um, the throw of it is a, is a really wide spill, so it's not a direct spotlight, it's a huge lit up area all around you and probably more useful than a, than a you know really long beam. We'll just look at the ancillary stuff first, but the head strap is this kind of breathable material, it's got holes in it. I, find, I found this head strap to be perfectly fine, sometimes with these big heavy torches you know you get the you get the third strap r running over the top and they do supply that but I took it off and I found for what I do I didn't really need it you're doing something a little bit more kind of robust with this then perhaps you might like the third strap because it'll just hold it in place because it is a little bit heavier than some head torches and this is IP68 uh, waterproof and that essentially means you can submerge it up to two meters, comes with one meter drop resistance and its operating temperature is up to 65 degrees and down to minus 20 degrees which is respectable. Now on the light itself you've got the main LED light but then you've got these auxiliary lights as well uh, and they on this one are red and green but I think when you buy these you can choose different options. You can get one with a UV light instead. Um, the red and the green suit me. I don't really have a need for a UV light but it's nice to have options. So I'll take you through the controls of this. Now you've got an orange button and a black button. Do the orange button first. So single click is your on and you're off. That's pretty simple. Uh, double click is straight up to turbo mode. Triple click is the uh, SOS which is in the red function. And if you hold for two seconds, you've got ultra low, and then you hold for six seconds with the torch off, and you get that flash, and then that is it locked. Nothing will, nothing will turn it on until you hold that orange button again for six seconds, and that will get you back on. So it's a really decent lockout mode. So now the black button. So when the torch is on, uh, single press cycles you through the different brightness modes. Sorry about blinding you. Uh, if you press and hold the black button, that then takes you to the green or the red. And then a single press of that black button cycles through those as well. So if you've got it on red and you turn it off, you turn it back on, you'll be on red. You've got it on green, turn it off, turn it back on, you'll be on green. So it's a handy feature. Press and hold that black button back onto the white light Turn it off, turn it on, you're on the white light. So that is the controls. They are reasonably simple. You're on, off, and then you cycle through stuff. You know, it makes sense once you get used to it. And talking about the brightness, the brightness on full power of this is 4,000 lumens. Uh, but as I said, it's not a long beam, it's a really wide beam. I'll drop that footage in now because I was messing about with it camping. Okay, so currently in the woods and uh, I've got this light on low that is full power in the woods filmed on a GoPro which uh, is not very good at picking up light and it's just mental isn't it 
it's so wide it's a massive spill you know while you're camping try and be a bit subtle and uh, this uh, full beam is not subtle but the red and the green options they're really good I do like them both of which are um, much kinder on the eyes I thought there's just a little bit of garden footage while we're while we're filming this, in case I didn't get much in the woods, but this is on uh, the low setting. Bump it up, bump it up, bump it up. So that's that's not turbo, that's just high. And that is if I keep my head still and I just pan the camera, you can get a sense of how wide the um spill is on the light it's kind of taking up pretty much all of my garden which is pretty cool I'll just swap over to the green light just so you can get a sense of kind of the spill of the green light and that uh, it's not the most attractive view but you get a sense of how bright it is the red's decent. I think the green gives you more, like you can see more. The other night when I was camping, I had this green light on quite a lot. And um, yeah, as well as looking after your night vision, it, um, it, do it does make it so that you're able to really see what's going on. And you can work and collect wood and all that sort of thing. Um, with you know plenty of light but subtle light and for those of you that want the facts and figures um, there's a little screenshot of all of the uh, modes and how bright they are and how long they last and all that sort of thing so you can have a little study of that okay so that's uh, facts and figures let's talk about real life use so as I say I found this to be reasonably comfortable um, you can adjust this the first night I went out with it I had this one on over the top um, I don't like these, I don't get on with them personally. Some people do, um, but I don't, so I took it off. But it's good they include it. Um, this part that touches on your head, you know, it's maybe not as comfy as some, not as cushioned, uh, but it's functional. It's kind of molded to the shape of a head, and the strap is fine. You know, if you were running, maybe you'd want that top bit on, but for just camp chores and stuff, totally fine. Uh, you can rotate it within the uh, clippy thing. I've got it filled with grit and stuff because <laughs> I dropped it when I was packing up but uh, yeah it does rotate through this I guess you know 180 degrees. Not that you'd want to rotate it 180 degrees but the option is there. So overall pretty comfy. It's not too big. It's not like wearing one of the little dinky ones but um, you know, for a for a long dark evening, you want a bit of oomph in your battery. So, you know, in in terms of that, I think this is, as I said before, is it's a good winter head torch for me personally. So that's about it. But it's not because this does a few more neat little things. Uh, I'm going to take it apart. We'll have a look inside. Uh, before I do that, <coughs> I kept the box because um, I just wanted to show what else you get in the box. So you get a spare head strap clip. You get this. Now, can you read what that says on it? So what this is, is if you got rid of that um, 21700 battery for some reason, you could put two 18650 batteries in this tube and then slot that in the head torch and that would power it also. 
it's an interesting option and again it's good that they include that in the packaging uh, they also give you a couple of spare o-rings you got a set of instructions and then the pièce de résistance this is the USB-C charger it's quite a fast charging time I forget exactly what the charging time is but let me show you how this works so you unscrew the torch and the charging port is inside uh, you get a flashing red light on here to show it's charging it's not plugged in now so it's not doing it uh, but what you've also got here you see that in the, on the side of the USB is you've got a USB port so you can plug in your phone into something like this and charge your phone off of the battery within this torch that's a really cool feature I mean personally I'd only do that in an emergency because I'd want this torch to last you know as long as possible but if your phone died and you were in an emergency you know that's a really cool idea I love that so that is my demo of the uh, Ace Beam H30 head torch it's got a lot of really good features I love the red and the green I think they're really useful for, for what I do camping wise you've got the oomph of the monster brightness should you need it uh, but as I said in the video you know I found it having it on low great for me trying to be a little bit stealthy in the woods I had it on low while I was doing stuff and then later on I had it on green for quite a while and the green you can see quite far with but it's not you know a really overpowering light it's quite it's, it's good on your eyes keep your night vision intact and all that stuff but yeah I'm quite pleased with it to be fair uh, it's got a lot going for it um, but yeah that's it I'll put a link in the video description I just want to say thank you to Ace Beam. They did send this out free of charge, but I'm under no obligation to say if it's good or bad. I don't think it's perfect, nothing's perfect, but uh, it's decent. It, it, you know, it does a job uh, and it does it well, and it's a well thought out, well designed head torch. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Cheers.